Hey everybody, this is Demon from African Dream. We're a top 15 club on the Xbox One leaderboards, and this video is all about counterattack style of play. It's something we use to earn back-to-back -back D1 titles and climb the leaderboards, and really it is effective when you have six or less people on the opposing squad. Uh, you can really use this to your advantage on those computer defenders. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. So before we get into the specifics of actual counterattack style of play uh, in FIFA Pro Clubs, the first thing you should use is the 4-3-3 defend formation. This allows for three people up top and a very important cam in the middle, um, but even more important than the cam are the right and the left wing. Now these players should both be 5-4, um, anything under 119 pounds will allow for maximum pace. And really what you'll see in a lot of these clips is somebody in the midfield getting the ball sending it up the right side of the field as fast as they can to beat any other midfielders uh, that are actually you know player controlled um, so you can beat the AI defenders and this left wing on the other side should actually be running off sides uh, and then kind of bringing themselves in uh, and on sides as the ball is going up the field and then most of these passes are going to be uh, right bumper Y passes so what I call an RBY uh, down the sideline, which really will drive your right winger as far as possible for the make the cross. So if we look at this next play, the CB is going to clear the ball, and luckily it's going to land at the cam's feet. Now, this is going to be a super quick decision. You have to look at your map, and you'll see at the top of the map, the red left winger is already running and beating his defender. So one quick way to get the ball up is by doing an LBRBY, which will drive the ball forward and over the defender's head. So you'll see here... Once he kicks it forward, it's actually going to be way in front of the left winger, so it'll be a one-touch RBX across the field, and that's an easy goal. So as you saw in the last play, it's really important to get the ball up the field as quick as possible to one of the front midfielders like the Cam. In this one, he's already positioned on the right side, sends it up to the right wing. The left wing is already beating his defender for a goal. So aside from steals and you know normal midfield play, there's a few other areas in which you can take advantage of this type of play. Um, and that would be during penalties or corner kicks. So in this upcoming play, you're going to see off of a corner kick, there's going to be a deflection. Um, it's really hard to get a header on corners, especially in pro clubs if, you're, if your pro isn't very tall. Um, so if somebody is all the way up or two people are all the way up at the midfield mark, um, you're able to get a pretty good breakaway and uh, counterattack for a goal. So another way you can get some counterattack play in your league matches is to start on one side of the field and switch to the other side of the field with an LBRBY pass. So you'll see here in this freeze frame that the left wing is actually beating the right back on the opposing side, and that's an AI controlled player. So you're able to kind of use this to your advantage. You'll see here it's going to be an LBRBY across the field. This gets sent right past the CB and right through so that the left wing can actually just take it forward one or two touches and score the goal. A key thing to keep in mind about the counterattack style of play is sometimes it's not always going to work, like this easy shot that people should make but sometimes don't, or not take shots like this. But again, FIFA is all about having fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any comments or anything like that, please feel free to leave them below. Make sure you subscribe and like the video, and uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll put out some more soon.